MailChimp newsletter tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use MailChimp's newsletter features. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now I'm over here on MailChimp.com and I'm over here on their main website. Now over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly jump into it, sign up and move on. So sign up process is very simple and it's free as well. However, there are some pricing plans available. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. So first, let's go ahead and sign up for free over here by clicking on this button at the top right corner or at the middle one over here and then we just simply have to enter in our email address a username and a password to move on all right and once you have you know signed up all you have to do is just verify your email address all right so as you can see this is the email so i'll just simply click on the activate button over here and we should be good to go now i am okay so it was expired which is weird let me choose the another one i think there was another one zero minutes ago yeah there we go let me just click on this one and this should be it all right so we are good to go now i'll just say i'm not a robot this is a another account that i'm using currently so don't worry about that i used another email to sign up but it's okay then just simply clear the recapture i'm not a robot and we will move on all right so as you can see this is the email right this is their mail that they send now we just simply click on activate account to activate our account it's going to take us back over here onto another another tab where we just you know confirm that we're not a robot as you can see over here just wait for it to load up here we go now we'll just confirm that i'm not a robot it's just gonna do its thing and then we can move on all right so then we can see we have the pricing plans over here so there are four basic plans right the free plan the essential the standard and the premium so they all have their different features as well so if you click on compare features we can see all of the features that each has so for the free plan you'll only have a 2000 you know contact maximums that's their maximum contact capacity that they have you will have seven marketing channels single email automations five email templates and marketing crm whereas in the essential one which is going to be 11 dollars per month you're going to get 500 contacts all right and all email templates a b testing custom branding and 24 7 award-winning support as well then you have the standard plan and in the standard plan you're going to have journey automations retargeting ads custom coded email templates and advanced audience insights and then we have the premium one which is going to be 2.99 per month with 10,000 ads with 10,000 contacts everything in the previous plans and advanced segmentations multi variety multivariate testings unlimited seats and role based across unlimited seats and role based access and phone support as well so depending upon which one you want you can go ahead and choose that one now now currently i'm just simply gonna stick with the free plan and then we'll move on and see if we need to upgrade or not so for now we're gonna stick with this one and we'll just simply click on next and then over here again we just have to set up our account we have to enter in our first name last name business email website or number they're both optional it all depends on you so i'm gonna catch you guys in a second once i filled out this form and then you have to add your address over here and once you've added the address you should be good to go and then over here do you have any contacts so now do you have any contacts i don't have any so i'm just simply gonna say no and click on continue basically we're setting up our account and we're basically here to customize it then we're gonna finish it and then we'll move on with the main part of the video and do you sell any products online neither neither just skipping these you can also skip this as well now over here if you want to receive any emails from uh, you know mailchimp then you can check these boxes but if not you can just simply click on continue and move on all right so over here what do you want to start first uh, send your first email start an automation or create a website now what we need to do first is to you know for a newsletter is to get some audience and stuff like that so come over here onto the left side we'll have a bunch of different options we'll click on audience and then over here we have you know create a sign up form create a social ads and all of that we could go with that one you know to create a page where people can sign up but uh, since we're here to create a newsletter you know for our email so what we'll do is we'll click on campaign and over here we'll have all campaigns we'll have email templates and reports so it's loading up over here so as you can see over here this is how it looks like so over here as you can see we have no campaign started as of yet so in order to create a campaign we need to have to click on create a campaign over here 
and then we can go with other stuff as well so we have emails automation and all that we'll click on emails so that we can see but we don't have any so we'll just go ahead and click on create campaign to start creating our campaigns all right so then we have either a regular email a landing page or an embedded form so let's go ahead and click on email design right here regular email we're going to be designing our email and over here we have an untitled option we have two from subject content right we need to design all of this to get started so two we need to add recipients all right we have to import our contacts and we can import them over here onto our list from we have to enter in you know who is sending this campaign so if we click on from we'll enter in the name and the email address that we, from which we are sending this email and then subject we can add the subject as well so and in the subject we can add what's the subject line what is you know this email about and what can people can expect from reading this email and then we have the email design all itself so pretty simple nothing too complicated let me get this out of the way the box and then at the bottom we have some social posts as well that we can link it to and send this email to other people so first we need to add recipients and of course if we don't have an audience you can go ahead and create one as a option but let's just assume that we have it and then we need to add a for or from section and over here i'll just write the name mr johnson mr johnson and over here we can enter in the email address and then we'll just save it also we can go with add recipients as well as i said before you can add recipients but now we need to go ahead and add some subject so we can be like this is this is basically a test email and then over here this is a test i'll just say this is a test and we'll just say this is a test email to see yeah i think this is it see if you're interested whatever you want to write you can go ahead and write it over here so once you have written all of this as you can see this is a test email to see if you're interested yeah that looks good everything looks nice then we'll just simply click on save and yeah we can also add emojis to make it all right so then we just simply design the emails we'll click on design email we can use the classic editor or the new editor it all depends on you i'm going to stick with the classic one because it's pretty simple no bugs or anything like that it's really simple editor so then we just simply select the templates over here so as you can see we have a bunch of different templates over here we have some okay then we just simply pick out a template that we like so you can go with anyone i think i'm going to go with you know this one right here so I'm going to click on upgrade to use. So to actually use these templates, we need to upgrade our account. But I don't want to because we'll see if we actually need to. Right. All right. Again, I'm going to go with the classic editor and check it out. All right. So over here, as you can see, we'll just choose this one because this is a free one. We have to upgrade to use them later. So first, I'll just choose this one because this one is a free template all right so over here all we have to do is just edit it out right just simply put your logo over here your title your product image if you have a product image and you can just simply edit it out and put a button over here and start doing that right so it's pretty simple let's go ahead and edit it out now i don't have a logo but we'll just simply replace it over here with any image that we have so we don't have any images but we can go ahead and use this one we can use the creative assistant so we can just you know go ahead and enter in a design if we want to we can try the sample boards as well so the creative assistant is running so we'll just leave it and leave it for a second so over here as you can see we have some designs that we can use depending upon what we input so yeah we can choose which one we want to on i think this looks good so we're going to insert this design and we can also animate this as well if you want to if not you can leave it at that so as you can see that looks nice then you can go with this one as well you can go with whatever you want or you can add it yourself but if, let's go ahead and edit this out as well we'll just say this is not we'll just add in our title we'll just say coming soon and since this is a title we'll make it bold and we'll also increase the size as well like 24 i think that looks nice and we'll also align it into the center like that yeah and then we can go with a different font like an aerial or default heading heading yeah i think that looks good but we want to go with a different type we'll go with toc heading and we'll make it bold yeah i think that looks good yeah 
then we can leave it at that and then we can input our you know product image as well so over here again i'm gonna go with the creative assistant and over here we'll just wait for it to be loaded up yeah we can go with this one as well but it all depends on you so right here as you can see we have some products so we'll choose we'll add this image over here or we can choose a stock photo from here so we'll just choose a bakery yeah cookies looks nice so we'll just use this image and yeah and then generate the design for us with those three images all right so as you can see this is how it looks like then we'll just insert this design right here and then here we go as you can see now it looks nice then we can edit this text out and add more photos if you want i don't really need this so i'm gonna delete that but yeah i think generally this is nice this looks good we can edit this text however you want to as i said before but let's just assume that this is it so we'll just simply click on continue to move on and then but uh we need to remove these you know placement text over here in order to finish it so for this one we'll just say yeah something like that looks good so then we just actually i wanted to remove that as well so yeah i think this looks good yeah i think this looks nice and then we'll just simply click on continue and once that's done we are good to go then we can start sending this email out to our newsletter that we have gathered from our contacts and yeah so pretty much that's it so in order to actually send this you need to upgrade your account to maybe i think essentials then you can go ahead and start using it so that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye